Seven Star Ultron video. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Look, let's get right into it. So this is a rank two, 200 signature Ultron. Of course, stat focus wise, it's always a bit of a difficult one as to like what's the best one to choose. Would you choose like armor rating? Would you kind of use critical damage rating? Would you have this on defense? Probably not. Would you have physical resistance? Look, at the end of the day, I just went for critical damage rating. Could have done something else like just special damage. Of course, it's down to the eye of the beholder as to what you choose. And of course, where this champion could excel at. You could even try and say to yourself, would this be a contender to use in some upcoming content? Maybe. The champion itself is, of course, more powerful than the six star version. That's normally how that works as well. From a relic perspective, this one I found a bit difficult, especially with the right kind of pair up. There are different things in some of the relics that are out at the moment, which have some benefits. I think one of the examples is, I think it's the Hulkbuster relic. Maybe I'm uh, telling a lie with that one. But there's always little bits, like there's armor up buff potency with that one. There's, well, again, more armor up potency. Uh, it's it's honestly tough to find a relic that like perfectly suits this particular champion. I think the one, there's some things on Sentinel that work quite well. There's others on other ones, but you could say like, okay, well, block proficiency if the opponent is heal blocked. Okay, well that's a thing. There is heal block you can get from Ultron in some sort of uh, you know situations. You could say as well AI technician. That could be something that worked. I decided to do the footage, which went into Labyrinth. We went into other areas including like Act 6.4.6, .6, Act 7, uh, where the champion can be, you know, really good at path clearing and taking on mutants. But there's stuff there, you know, AI technician, tactician, which of course I didn't use, but there's nothing really that stands out from these particular relics that covers a broad spectrum of things. So like, look, you do get from the... I think it's Mutant Protocol. Attack rating against mutants is increased by using the Sentinel Relic. Again, specific to like that. So there could be some usage there, but there's nothing that stands out overly because, you know, Ultron has a very specific uh, kit. But I had a lot of fun even playing with a champion without a relic. And it's just that ramp up a bleed that is really important. So let's just get into some footage and we'll talk about a few things because one of the big things will be bleed damage and also best things to use with the champion. So one thing to point out is the mastery that I'm running for this champion is Suicide Masteries. You can see them on screen right now. And that's what I'm, uh, I'm rocking at the moment. It's not, you know, stonking into different areas, but it's kind of like more of an offensive base build. Um, but, you know, it's just to showcase the fact that, uh, look, this dude can do damage. So starting off this video, uh, we've got Ultron in Labyrinth of Legends and against Star-Lord. Now, as you can see, there is armor up buffs. I can't remember if this champion is amongst one of those champions you could use in the likes of... Um, uh, Alliance rates. Part of me says it is in one of the various roles, but I can't remember uh, whilst I'm recording this video. Um, any case, right to the point. Look, bleed damage. You can see in the top left hand corner, I've got that kind of fist there that has five by it. Now, ideally, that needs to go up higher. The more of those particular like missions, so to speak, functions. Sorry, not missions, functions. Um, is now ramped up. Uh, we did a little cut. I cut there. Uh, I did get hit in this fight, but um, and also like some recoil damage. But apart from that, you know, I'd actually quite like this. So we're up to now, is it eight? Eight quarterized. So when that comes around, we had to see like the extent of damage. The more of the, um, uh, not quarterized, more of the functions we have, the more damage uh, we'll be able to uh, to do with the champion. So when that cycles around, which you can see there, it's getting close. As soon as it is, I just need to do the, uh, the little heavy attack and then we should be kind of okay to kind of like do it. So, uh, so yeah, any moment. Now, there we go. And you can see there's a nice amount of tick damage from that bleed. We've got 10 stacked at the moment. And that's pretty nice. You can also see like a great amount of crits as well, which again is further nice for the champion. So there is good damage potential with the champion in the longer fights. I'm personally more of a fan of clearing content on the shorter fights. Of course, he helps out with kind of, um, well, the uh, I think there's like a Karina's Challenge specifically built for him. So that's good. Um, that You know, that's, that's some good elements of uh, being able to take down bosses. And he does take, he will take down bosses. There will be circumstances where he's gotten a type of uh, immunity or something to it. But of course, he does a lot of damage, you can see there, with crits. 
Is it going to be something you'll use? Maybe, as I said, maybe you'll use it in Alliance Raids. And I thought I'd just cut the video because I wanted to just check that indeed what I was saying about Alliance Raids wise, like you can actually use the champion as a Vanguard champion. So that's really good that like you can use them as a, as a Vanguard uh, option because look, if you're able to, and this will be amplifying on the armor break or I can't remember if Vanguard gets the choice of the damaging debuff side of things. I'll have to see. But again, that's another point, you know. Uh, good point, you can use him. And of course, against mutants, he absolutely dem demonstrates a demolition. Oh, that's not words, that's not English. Demolishing. Because of course, he doesn't do bleed, he'll do um, degen. Here's against the Wolverine Weapon X. I can't remember if this is like a really high one. Uh, this is something on the content creator beta, which I just thought I'd just throw the champion against that. Of course, I want to be play the long game, and that evade, actually, I was normally, like, I get really kind of uh, critical about that. It's actually very helpful. It helps out with the current state of kind of, like, inputs, if inputs were a problem with the game. But, of course, helps out if, like, I've got a pesky Wolverine Weapon X coming at me with Unstoppable, and I need that, um, you know, lit, nice little um, evade aid um, passive coming up to like give me assistance and help but of course the dgen damage is going to help out as well of course one of the main things is if the champion is immune to anything and because the champion is immune to poison in this particular example against abomination it is going to help out with the synergy that i've got with the champion now one of that particular synergy is going to be the warlock synergy which i took in to help out in this particular scenario and all the other scenarios it's the same synergy quicksilver as well is to come in to complement but again, same thing, like it will be down to like a personal preference as to like how you choose to set up your uh, particular teams and, and such like. So the team that I used was Hulkbuster, Warlock, Gear Team 299 and Quicksilver, which we'll have a quick look at whilst I end the video. But this particular path has a you will be poisoned kind of like nodes set up to it. So I was going to take damage from that particular effect that I'm as it's seeing bottom left hand corner or to the left actually it says immune and whilst i'm immune to something again that helps out to uh, to kind of get my fury buff up which again improves my damage output which of course for specific types of interactions having ultron with the likes of warlock i think it's warlock um is then able to kind of like you know get that uh, extra damage uh benefit and so um, we just quickly go over the synergies, which, as I said, like this is the one I've got at the moment. So Ultron Prime, each armor up buff also reduces incoming stun debuffs. I mean, that's handy for certain circumstances. Function Quarterize now lingers for an additional seven seconds. Handy, especially for, you know, um, I think it's damage potential for that one. And getting a passive heal block, which is a problem if you're looking to kind of like get that relic working with it so it's something to kind of like note you've also got um uh, self renders this is the this is the one where uh, not self renders robot uprising so this is where i'm getting that uh, fury buff from so again down to a personal preference if you're actually interested in kind of pairing up uh, with that one and also ai uprising kind of a popular one uh, gain 70 percent of a bar of power each time the immunity prevents a bleed or poison effect of course that was in in full operation but it's not as potent as it used to be when it was first introduced because uh, you know um it was really potent. And then finally, Quicksilver, which is utilizing the uh, gain 600 critical damage rating while the opponent is bleeding, which is handy, especially against non-mutants. Uh, but yeah, like it, it, was a, it was a fun champion, a fun little rank up. And yeah, seven star wise, I think it's going to be very helpful. And especially with that regen, it means that it's going to be very um, unapologetic if you mess up is a vanguard player and i'm actually would be interested to rank two i don't think you need to worry too much about the signature unless you want that kind of like get out of jail free card which i said you know getting that extra regen back from the champion which you know is going to be um you know important because you're like well i can go for longer yes you do have like a, a time limit of what you can do but at least you can kind of go okay great well if something happens and it's not too good then at least you can be like okay cool well i'll get regeneration um uh, oh no, you can get regeneration off the energy damage, you get regeneration in general, uh, but also it's an interaction based stuff if, if there is. But apart from that, you know, you get re regen as part of the champion. Sorry, my bad, my bad. It's a very, you know, get out of jail free card. Anyway, there we go. I'm done. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope it interested you. Check out some other content located on screen and have a lovely day. Bye bye for now.